Hello, I'm Pastor Shogun Baji. Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. And thank you for tuning in. God bless you. This is a special day and there's a word coming your way. Your life will never remain the same again. Welcome. Now in Hebrews chapter 1, all right, you start reading from verse 1. It says, God who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past to the fathers by the prophets hath in these last days spoken to us by his son, whom he had appointed heir of all things and by whom he made all things. And the Bible tells us that this same Jesus that was in the beginning as the living word, this same one was um, the source of all things and by him all things were made. And the Bible tells us that God upholds all things by the word of his power. So we understand that God's word is God speaking to us. Now, God and his word are one. God's word is God speaking to you. When you study your Bible and you flip through the pages of the Bible, as you meditate upon the word of God, understand that God has come home to you. God is no longer far-fetched. You don't have to go all out looking for him. He has come home. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so God upholds all things by the word of his power. That means when God gives you his word, he is actually back of that word to see it unto fulfillment, to see it unto fruition. Why? Because he cannot separate himself from his word. He upholds all things by the word of his power. Glory to God. In Jeremiah chapter 1, you start reading from verse 4 to verse 6. It tells us that God is back of his word. His eyes are upon his word. He oversees his word. He monitors his word. He backs his word to see it come to pass. Praise God. And that is very very important for you to know and understand that you may be able to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on him. Praise God. Anywhere you see the word of God, God is there. Amen. Because God and his word are one and he oversees his word. His eyes are upon his word to fulfill it, to perform it. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you for listening. I know the sphere of grace has been a tremendous blessing to you. Now go ahead and put the word of God to work. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you. And-